End times wars are taking shape. So are you ready for the rapture? Hi everyone, this is Emily Wickham with Proclaiming Him to Women, a ministry that helps women know, love, and imitate Jesus. I had some thoughts I wanted to share with you today, and the first has to do with Psalm 46. I was reading this recently, and I would not say that this chapter necessarily is about end times, but it just caused me to see some parallels. So let me read verse five and six and also verse 10. Verse five of Psalm 46, God is in the midst of her. She will not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations made an uproar, the kingdoms tottered. He raised his voice, the earth melted. And then verse 10, Cease striving and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. In verse 4, it's talking about the um, streams that make glad the city of God. And then it goes on to say, God is in the midst of her. She will not be moved. I think we are all aware of the turmoil and uh, preparations for war that Israel is engaging in. So first off, we need to be very mindful to be praying for the peace of Jerusalem. And it, I just love these verses because, you know, Jerusalem is God's city and nobody is going to take control of that city without God having say so about it. It belongs to him and he is not going to give it away. He is going to protect his people. I recently heard someone say that they had read or heard in the news that Netanyahu had said, in the next war, God will win the war for Israel. And I find that so interesting that he would say this. And we just see things shaping up. There's so much turmoil and difficulty throughout the world, but particularly in the Middle East. And the verse here that really caught my attention when I was reading earlier this week is where it says, the nations made an uproar, the kingdoms tottered. And it, it seems so descriptive. Of, of our world today because it seems like kingdoms really are tottering and just things are coming apart at the seams and things are so unstable all throughout the world, not just in the Middle East, but, but all over. And yet God is in control. And, and, and I love this verse, verse six, because even though that is going on, the, the nations in an uproar, the kingdoms tottering. It says that God raised his voice and the earth melted. That is power, my friend. God lifts up his voice and the earth melted. So we can entrust ourselves to Almighty God during these very unstable times. And then the other verse that really caught my attention is verse 10 where God says, I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And it just struck me how Satan wants to be worshiped. He wants to be exalted. He wants to be God. But this is not going to happen because God says, I will be exalted. And he is going to be exalted in the nations and in the earth. I hope that gives you comfort at this time, as we look for the Lord, as we wait for the rapture. Listen to these verses, Titus 2, 11 through, I'm gonna read through 14. 
For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all men, instructing us to deny ungodliness and worldly desires and to live sensibly, righteously, and godly in the present age, looking for the blessed hope and the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Christ Jesus, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself a people for his own possession, zealous for good deeds. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation. Do you know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior? That is the number one way to get ready for the rapture. And the rapture is when Jesus comes to take his bride from this earth, to meet him face to face and to be with him for all eternity. Terrible judgment is coming on this earth. And there are going to be things taking place that no one is going to want to be here for. But when you place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, when you believe in the Lord Jesus, you receive the gift of salvation and you have peace with God for all eternity. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He was buried and he rose on the third day. And he did this because he loves us. He loves you and he loves me. He is the one we're waiting for. Are you looking for him? Are you excited to meet him? He's coming soon. And until he comes, God's word instructs us to live godly lives, to, to be doing good deeds for him, not in order to be saved, but because we are saved and because we love the Lord Jesus, we want to do these good deeds. And there was something else that stood out to me here, that God is purifying for himself. The Lord is purifying for himself a people for his own possession. So as we wait for the rapture, one way that we can be um, preparing ourselves is to just yield to the Lord's work in our hearts and in our lives and to just allow ourselves to be purified and to seek to live holy lives for his honor and his glory. We need to shine brightly, my friends. The world is dark and it's getting darker, but God has us here to shine for the Lord Jesus, to be a bright light and a testimony of him and to share the love of Christ and to share the hope of Christ. End times wars are shaping up. So are you ready for the rapture? Let's look up for our Lord Jesus. He's coming soon at the rapture. Until next time, this is Emily Wickham with Proclaiming Him to Women.